results video number two. Now, this one's going to be a little quicker because there wasn't as much on this card. This card wasn't as stacked, but the two top fights were pretty good. Um, top rank boxing also put on a show at the same time as Canelo versus Jacobs with two title fights headlining the card. So if you want to see titles, this was the card for you. The newly acquired Arter Betterbiev, the light heavyweight champion, and Jerwin on Kahas defended their titles respectively. Also on the card, we had undefeated fighters taking on unworthy competition, I would say the least, to say the least, which made some for some finishes on the night. So good for top rank putting on the cards. Uh, full results from the card should be relaying on the screen now if you're interested in any of this. But let's get on to the two fight title fights in the case of this results video that I'm going to talk about today. So the IBF Junior Super Flyweight or Bantamweight, whether you, whatever you like to call it, champion 31-2, Jerwin Onkahe, took on Ryuchi Funai in a fight that surpassed Canelo Jacobs on Boxing Rank's fight rankings. Now, obviously, it wasn't as big, but it got a four-star performance, and Anahe stopped his opponent via doctor stoppage in the seventh round, um, declared a KO, and at 27 years of age, uh, Jerwin improves to 31-1-2. and two. Jerwin really impresses with all his action-packed performances. Top Rank has a really good kid here who knows exactly what to do, and he knows how to put on a good show. This was a good fight. Seven rounds. All I was interested in all of them. Better than Canelo Jacobs. I would agree with Boxing Rank's analysis of just from a pure fan perspective. Next, we have the undefeated former Olympian, current IBF light heavyweight champion, newly acquired to ESPN's top rank, Arter Better BF, entered this fight with a perfect boxing record of 13-0, 13 KOs, now that's where the perfect comes in, 100% KO ratio, obviously, shaking the camera, and he is ranked as the number 6 light heavyweight in the world. Better be have kept the knockout streak alive, the finish streak alive, swarming Hot Rod into the corner in a five, in round number five, and getting the doctor stoppage on the fight. Better be have, who was ranked six, did as he was supposed to, fighting the 54th ranked light heavyweight in Better BF fashion. So this was a good win for Arter on his debut to ESPN's top rank, and we they also have. Um, the uh, Ukrainian, the name's slipping my mind, it's Gavodish or something. He's a great light heavyweight, and it's, we're probably going to see those two cross paths at some point. Even though Better BF needs a couple more fights, probably, being only 14-0 now. Uh, that did it for the Better BF uh, Radij, I don't even know how to say it, Radivoj Kalaj uh, That's how I would pronounce it. Uh, the announcer pronounced it some other way. Maybe I'll put that cut in. But that did it for Top Rank's card. A good card nonetheless. Just probably didn't do the right numbers because obviously we had Canelo Jacobs on the same night and Canelo Jacobs just warrants a little more hype. But this card, boxing standpoint, for the last two fights was probably better in my opinion. But that's up to you. You let me know in the comment section below. Do you think this card was better or Canelo Jacobs? Even if you went back and rewatched this card. What fight, like fight-wise, content-wise, which one was better? But that does it for the results video. You guys got it. All the results are on screen. We're laying again now. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy the results videos to the channel, we bring them to you almost every week. Make sure you like, subscribe to the channel. That'll do it for me. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.